Hi YouTube, Dirty Dems back again. It's fair to say I'm going crazy losing my mind in isolation. So I have decided to break open this all city style train, which I'm going to spray and I'm going to show you how you can do yours and let you know where to get yours from. So this has been sitting on my shelf for a while. It's a bit dusty, but I'm going to break it open and we're going to have a look at what's inside. So the brand is all, all city style. Um, big ghost and I got this from Alfresco so thanks to Alfresco for hooking this up Alfresco Dave you're a legend so this is from the graffiti shop in Cambridge so it comes it comes wrapped up the seal and when you take the wrapping off you have some bits on the inside so these bits in here are to see that you can connect two two halves together to make a whole carriage a 3d rendered model but yeah you can connect two pieces together to make one train so as you can see it's plastic it's shiny uh, normally with plastic things spray paint doesn't really adhere that well so what I'm going to do is, like the custom toy video that I did a, a few days ago, I'm going to give this a light sand and then I will give it a coat of paint and then start using the uh, Posca paint pens to do a panel on this 3D train. I'm just going to take this uh, wire and just lightly rough up the surface of the plastic, just work my way around the whole train, just scouring it, just so that when I spray it, the paint sticks nicely to the plastic. So that's it, it's all uh, keyed up, if you can see that, I've keyed up the plastic, and uh, now I'm going to use some acetone or some nail polish remover and just give it just give it a little wipe down get that loose get the loose plastic off of it before I spray it so we're using my um, makeshift spray booth again in the garden and I've got some old grey prime and I'm going with a class um, southern class 455 train so it's going to be like a white turquoise green and dark green so it gives a can of good shake up mix it up give it a test off Quite thick primer, so you just want to give it a, a coat from far away. Seems to be uh, drying pretty quick in the sun, but I will give it a blast with the uh, heat gun just to make sure it's cured before I spray it with some more spray paint. I think I'm going to go with the white next because the train has um, a lot of white areas and then I'll probably hit the, um, the undercarriage with black and the roof with black and then hand paint the roof. So I've got a loop white and I'm going to give it even coverage with the loop seems to be speckling a bit so uh, sprayed it white giving it a base coat and I've got some black there for the next stage I hit this bottom bit with black I've got some tape just to take the carriage up cut the sides 
So I've covered up the main carriage with tape, the masking tape, and I'm going to take the black and I'm going to spray down the underside of the carriage. So I've just spun it the other way around and you can see I've missed a bit of black the other side so I'm just going to spray those bits that I've missed. So I'm going to peel back the tape now this could all be messed up underneath this is the moment of truth we'll see we'll soon see I don't think I let the white set properly it's not too bad some of the corners there so I'm just blowing over with the heat gun again uh, just to dry it a bit faster. I didn't... Yeah, so the masking didn't really help too much. Um, I should have should have used the heat gun really um, kind of messed up the corners of the tape because it wasn't dry properly. But it might add to the uh, effect of weathering on the train. I'm going to use these Citadel miniature pot paints. These were normally used on the little figures back in the day. I managed to get a load of these off eBay for cheap. tape down so I could get the strip of dark green going across the, the train at the same width. So I'm going to dry brush, dry brush the wheels and everything underneath. So I've got a brush, I've just put a little bit of silver on there and I'm just going to brush it over the wheels and everything just brings it out a little bit so I've dry brushed the roof as well I've used this acrylic white paint um, and I've used a bit of Angelus Direct for that teal colour. I had some dark green uh, in the Citadel miniature paints, a bit of orange, Citadel miniature yellow and some Citadel miniature black. I also used this Citadel miniature silver to do the dry brushing on the roof and the wheels. So we got this far through the video and um, the train's all finished and prepped, ready for the piece. Um, done like the outside edges, made them look a bit weathered. So yeah, it's a southern class 455 uh, 2019 so the next stage is to turn this into this yeah i'm going to take you through the process in the next part of the video so yeah stay tuned okay so we're ready for the next stage for this you're going to need some uh, posca pens my plan is to do a magneto character with my piece. So I've got some purples, some reds. I've got a beige color for the skin tone. So I'm gonna to start off by sketching up 
the design. So now we've got the outline, rough outline, I'm just going to paint white over the dark areas so it acts as a, a base coat. We've already got the white from the train panel here so that's quite helpful already. We've just got to go over the darker areas with some white now, maybe a, a, a couple layers of white to make a nice solid base coat for the rest of the colours that we're going to put on after. So I've uh, brought some of his cape round this corner just to fill that space. Um, so I'll probably bring some purple over there. Everything's everything's undercoated now. So we'll start filling in the colours. So this oh, it's a brand new red. Let's give it a few juices there. So this part of the helmet is mainly red with some shading of black over the top. We'll add the purple next. So we'll grab the purple monoto. hands. It's quite a dark on this one. So I'm just adding a bit of blue. Baby blue going in here. So I'll just use the heat gun just to blow over this, dry it down.
we've got the character down pretty much. So now I'm going to move on to the um, the outline, the piece. So I'm going to switch it up. I like to. Uh, I want to include some of this blue in there. So I'm thinking I'm going to do the E in blue. Yeah, I've got my fill down. Um, so now it's time to outline and 3D. So I'll probably do a red outline, red 3D with a black border. So I've got my outline down, so now I'm going to draw in the 3D. So I'm going to do the 3D at an angle, so quite chunky. And uh, because I've got my character there, I'm not going to do it in this part here. So the character sort of pushed in. Um, we can do 3D lines the rest of the way around the piece. the red now yeah so I've gone over the infill so it's had a second layer on the infill I've neatened up the red 3d and now I'm going to try using some fluoro. It didn't really work out as good as I hoped, but I've just been trying to sort of tone it down with a bit of the red just cutting it back Right. 
So I'm going to use this uh, black fine liner and do like a funky fill pattern over the purple on the inside of the letters. Okay, so I'm going to add some uh, white now, maybe some white stars and some white bubbles. Okay, so we got to the end of the video. Here's my custom all city style train, which I picked up from Alfresco in Cambridge. Alfresco Graffiti Supplies. If you need to get yours, click the link in the link in the comment section below. That will take you through to their shop. You can uh, order one for yourself to keep you busy. If you like this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel.